Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 37. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, we are now moving on to race number four of the Dream Car Championship. Again, I'm sorry for the noise in the background. It is boiling hot today in the UK. My PlayStation's overheating. And I've got to have a fan on me, otherwise I overheat. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of noisy in the background here. Um, but we are here at the Circuit de la Sar for a 25-mile race. We've got plenty of Ford GT LM cars. We've got three of them. Uh, we've got a GTR Concept LM car, a Zonda LM. Uh, we've also got a GTR R35 Touring car, just like us. A Challenger Skyline R33, which is an interesting car. Uh, and an R34 as well. So let's get into this. Right, let's do this. The Circuit de la Sarthe. We are doing three laps. Going around the chicanes now. Look at all those cars there. The frame rate's struggling to render in all of them. And here we go, coming up the main straight across the start line. Let's go. We've obviously got the extended gearbox, so we should be able to hit around about 200 and... 10 miles an hour, I want to say. Looking very good here. Already overtaken five cars so far. Makes that six now. Right, let's properly see what kind of top speed we can get out of this thing. Well, 210 has been smashed out of the park. 235? That is crazy. And this car was clearly had more power than that. I will have to do some, like, off-screen testing, like, drag testing for, um, the, like the wind challenge, but I feel like we could use this car for it. I really do. And I hope we can, because if we can't, I'll be gutted. There we go, very good. Though, that speed could have been helped along by uh, Slipstream. way too quick. I am sorry. Very good though. Eight seconds behind first place right now. Come on, come on. Nice. Perfect. This is going very well so far. We have got three laps to do though. It is getting warmer and warmer. Oh, we've gone wide. Try and get back on the track. We'll try and regain that time later. Perfect.
Nice. Perfect. Very good so far. Four minutes. So we got a 3.37 on that last lap, which is a very good time. So we're going to take about 10 minutes, uh, a bit like capering, uh, to do this race. The fact is the next race is even longer. It's the Nürburgring, which is a 17-mile track, and two laps of that. So while this is 25 miles total, that's going to be about 34. Uh, so the speed without slipstream at all. 225, fair enough. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We are 10 seconds behind, so we're actually further behind than we were before. Come on, we need a clutch here. Ah, oh, that was dreadful. That corner could not have gone worse if I tried. Way too late. Why did I break so late? I can't even get out of the grass. Ah, oh, this is ridiculous. The grass is like a sticky trap in this game. To be fair, we are gaining time through these corner sections. Perfect. And that's how you do overtakes. Perfect. Come on, get around the corner. We have caught up with first place finally. After what seems like an eternity. I genuinely wonder what it's like driving inside of this thing. While you're going like a million miles an hour. I mean, it does look cosy inside. It definitely looks cosy. I mean, would you be able to sit driving around for 24 hours doing this? Probably not. Look how quick that speedo goes up, though. Where it's in kilometers rather than miles an hour. That's insane. 
What's this one? Oh, that's Nitro. Oh, I forgot Nitro was a thing in this game. I actually wonder how you... Because I know there's a race where you get Nitro and you can use it, but like, how do you unlock it? I do think we need to update the game, not gonna lie. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to catch that time back up, big time. I did not realise our car could go that fast. That's all I'm going to say. Very nice. Perfect. This is going really well. We've got about 30 seconds left of the race. Nice. We managed to stay on the track for that corner as well. Perfect. Perfect. And across the line, first place. Oh, it's crazy. Crazy hot as well today. 11 minutes that race took. Impressive. Can I get my rewards, please? Yes, no. Yes. I would like them, if that's possible. Thank you. Three stars. Now we are on to the Nürburgring. This is the last race of the championship now. Right, here we go. Welcome to the Nürburgring 24 hour track. This is gonna be the longest race that we have done so far, I think. It, it will definitely be a close. Actually, no, the 15 minute race one, I think was longer. Because we had, for the 15 minute race, we did ended up doing three laps, didn't we? I think. I think we ended up doing three laps. But this will be like the longest actual race. Perfect. See, this part of the Nürburgring is good. Um, but when they add that middle section, it that breaks the flow of the track. That middle section on the GP circuit. It breaks all flow. And it becomes horrible. And not fun. Perfect. I hope we get like a hundred thousand credit reward for this championship because we kind of need the money crap Very nice through there. Right, stick out behind the Le Mans car. Zonda R. 
It's not Zonda R, it's Zonda Le Mans. I just... Ah, fuck it. Right, let's go. We are now on the Nordschleife section. Whoa! That was crazy. Right, so we did lose one position. But that is not too much of a problem as long as we can regain it. Perfect. Nice. That is literally the only opportunity we would have gotten to overtake that Zonda. Otherwise, we'd still be waiting behind him at this corner. Those rear lights are just out of place. I'm sorry, I don't like them. It is bumpy today. Very nice. Come on, come on. Slow down, get around this corner. Awesome. Perfect. Nice. Six seconds behind uh, first and second because they are bunched up together at the moment. Getting around these corners is a bit of a nightmare at the moment. Move that cup out of the way from in front of my TV. And that way I can actually play. Perfect. Nice. I think last time we went around the Nürburgring was in this car again. Perfect. Very good. Nice. Come on, around the corners. Don't mess me up today. Ah. Perfect. I do hate this section of the Nürburgring. This is a very bumpy, very 
risky section. It's not as flowing as the start of the Nautschleifer. Come on, come on. Fourth place is right on my backside at the moment. Right, they are gaining time through this section, but hopefully we can gain time through the GP circuit, because the GP circuit is a much smoother section. And there's the mini carousel. Perfect. Right, slow down here. And we are on the main straight now. This is where we can really find out the top speed of this thing. Might be a little bit cheating. Oh well. Right, they're already on the main straight of the GP circuit. Let's go. Come on. One more lap to go. Eight minutes and 14 seconds for that. Oh, we did this uh, GP circuit in the wet weather, didn't we? And it took the car 10 minutes to do that. Come on. Five point two. Look at that time gain there. That is crazy. And I can visually see the cars now, not just on the minimap now. Perfect. That was a huge amount of time gained there. And now we're coming back onto the Nordschleifer. They're going side by side. They're hogging the road. They're plotting against me. There we go. Found an opportunity to overtake. Took it. And now we're ahead. And slow down here. Perfect. No. I knew the car would snap back. And it did, but it didn't uh, throw our car off, which is decent. That time, though, it did throw our car off. Ah. Uh, we have time to gain now. And I don't really want to be doing that. This is the smoothest section of the Nord's life, so should be okay. No. 
Nice right, slow down for this corner here. Very good, very good, right. Come on. Us three cars have literally been swapping positions for first for ages now. Nearly four minutes of just trying to get first. And as soon as I get it, I nearly lose it. That was close. That was very close. Too close for comfort. Right, this is the bit where we can go quick, but we need to watch out. Be very careful of the cars, surface, and sudden bumps as well. Could probably add sudden turns as well to that list. Ah. Uh. Did I just manage to hold both cars off? I did. And one of them tried to overtake but got uh, sent onto the grass there. I really want to see more races at Matterhorn because Matterhorn is such a nice track. We've only had one on the full track of Matterhorn. Only one race. Two races. The one before night races and the one at and night races. And then this is the risky section. There's so many bumps, it is unreal. And there are cars in my blind spot now. Trying to overtake, but we're not gonna let them. Perfect. Get back on the road, get back on the road. Perfect. Not nice. Get back on the track. Right, now is the uh, fending off section. We have to make sure those cars don't overtake us now. Oh, we, I've been calling it a Mazda all this time and it's a Jaguar. Shit. Okay, 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 hold. No. You're not doing this to me. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh. That was stressful, that last section. I was sort of losing my concentration. It is so hot and 30 miles of racing. Ah, oh, it's just going to get worse from here on out. 
Uh, let's see how much money that uh, championship actually earned us then. Hopefully it's a decent amount, because if it's not, I'll cry. Off camera, of course. Oh! Oh, don't tell me it's crashed. It's loading the replay. There we go. And I will take my 47,000. And three stars. And what else do you have to offer? Dream Car Championship. First place. 100,000? 55. Hmm. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.